This message goes out to everybody on YouTube, every single person who might find this message useful for them. And I wanna talk about how I keep my body free of pain throughout the year. So there's a few things that I keep in mind when I'm practicing my fitness, my health, mindfulness. There's a lot of different key elements that you have to consider when it comes to your body and staying out of pain. You know, you wanna be pain free throughout the year. You don't want every day and every movement to be painful. So good for you, there's a way to reverse these feelings. There's a way to reduce inflammation, improve your flexibility. So the first thing I wanna harp upon is nutrition. When I start noticing that my knee or certain parts of my body are starting to feel a little bit stiffer or maybe a slight bit of pain when I do certain movements where there wasn't pain before, let's say for example, a squat or a lunge. When I go down for a squat or a lunge, if I start feeling a pinch or a little bit of pain in my knee, first off, I don't continue working out. I only work out when my body's not in pain. So I don't mean fatigue, I mean actual physical pain, which if you've worked out enough, you know the difference between your muscles feeling fatigue and muscles feeling in pain or nerves feeling in pain or joint, joint pain because there is a difference. So first off, I wanna let that pain heal by incorporating nutrition into my body or looking at the nutrition I'm taking in and seeing what I'm missing out on compared to what I'm used to taking in. Say like if I stop taking my spirulina or if I stop eating vegetables or something, if I notice my pain and I think about the food I've been eating, I notice that there's no vegetables or I haven't taken my green drink or spirulina, or I haven't been drinking as much water, try increasing those things that you were neglecting before. Increase them so that you're not neglecting them so your body can get hydrated, so your muscles can heal. You want to replace minerals and vitamins that your body needs so your body can feel at ease. Replace what your body needs so you feel at ease. Put that on a t-shirt too. So paying attention to the things that you eat and putting into your body regularly is gonna reflect upon how your body feels. Another example, people have muscle cramps, charley horses, muscle spasm. This is from mineral depletion. Like they have minerals inside their body that their body is lacking in. One example, like potassium, Potassium is good for helping your body relieve those muscle cramps. You need magnesium, zinc, iron. You need all this stuff to help your body work in equilibrium. Full circle. Full circle of stuff. So here's one thing that's not good to do is just eat one fruit or vegetable only. You need a variety. If the only thing you're eating is watermelon and you just want the nutrition that's in the watermelon, you're missing out on a lot of other things that's in other fruits and vegetables and nuts and meat as well. Healthy meats, of course. I'm not talking about a Krabby Patty. Some things you could take is chlorophyll, good at detoxifying your body, improves liver health, skin health, much more. Spirulina, great micronutrient, nutrition dense, super packed, lots of protein, amino acids in there, whoops that guy try vegetables like broccoli and spinach filled with magnesium good for your brain those cortisol levels you know help your body maintain the stress because stress can affect your body as well which actually brings me to my next topic try to find ways to minimize stress in your body think about it this way i'm gonna put it in common sense terms if you're not getting the amount of rest you need you're gonna be irritable, your body's not gonna heal either. So all these things are contributing to your overall well-being. Mental stress is linked to your physical stress. So if you're trying to improve your mental fitness, it's a good idea to work on your physical fitness as well because how you feel physically affects you mentally. And if you don't feel good mentally, it's gonna make you feel stressed out. Anxiety, it's just gonna give you bad days. It's just gonna trickle down to all the other things you got going on. I'll give you an example. If you've never heard of ghrelin or leptin, ghrelin and leptin are hormones that your body produces which regulate your hunger feeling. It's your hunger hormone. So depending on how much leptin your body is creating, 
is gonna depict how full you feel as well as how much ghrelin your body produces depicts how much hunger you feel. So your appetite control and a way to help regulate your leptin, the thing that stops you from overeating is by reducing stress. So sleep, eating good fruits and vegetables because fruits and vegetables is one of the main things that people are missing out in their diet these days in 2021. A good mindset and perspective also helps you out with your stress as well because they're linked together, they're intertwined. So if you have a bad perspective on life, it's gonna give you bad stress. Versus if you try to have a good perspective on life, you might not have as much stress. And less stress is best. Put that on a t-shirt too. So we've already discussed nutrition and ways of reducing stress. One of the ways of reducing stress is incorporating fitness. Fitness is the next step. Now when I say fitness, I don't mean being able to do 50 push-ups in 60 seconds or something like that. I mean just exercising, moving your body, accomplishing small exercising, small goals. It helps you feel good. Achieving your fitness goals is gonna help release endorphins in your brain because you're gonna notice your results. When you start noticing your results, you start feeling good and you keep on going. That's one of the keys to your consistency. When you're actually getting your results, it's going to help you stay consistent, which is going to help your help your overall well-being. Because like I said, it's a full circle. It's all interconnecting pieces. It's not just one thing. It's all different things and they all are interlinked together. Your mental health. It's connected to your physical health. Your nutrition is affected. Your nutrition affects your fitness and mental health. So they're all intertwined. There's no one that's greater than another. They're all aspects that need to be considered. If you underlook one or if, if you overlook one, then you're going to be neglecting yourself. You're selling yourself short. You're missing out on gains you could be getting. You're missing out on the goals that you're trying to achieve. You're selling, so, you're, you're selling yourself short, really. Okay, look. Look, I know I covered a lot of stuff, a lot of different subjects, all in one subject. <laughs> I was sorry, I started talking about joint pain and pain in the body, and then started talking about sleep, exercise, mental health, physical fitness, exercising, accomplishing goals, leptin, ghrelin, all this stuff. But the point is, all the stuff is intertwined. It's just the truth. Every little minute detail plays a part. Micronutrition is just as important as macronutrition. Though, depending on your needs at the time, you might need more micronutrition than the macros per se. And let alone if you're choosing the wrong stuff. If you're eating the wrong macros, it could offset you and throw you even further back. You could be taking a step forward and then taking two steps back. We don't want that. So total recap real quick improve your fitness or exercise remember small goals improve your nutrition because the food you eat affect your muscles your nerves your brain as well as improve or decrease your stress levels because stress plays a major part on your body as well people die from stress it's just a fact slowly one day at a time work on these things and, and also don't work out when you're in pain because when you're working out in pain, your body is not able to heal. Let the muscles and nerves, etc., finish healing through the replacement of certain minerals, vitamins, amino acids, protein, all that good stuff. So then you can get into the exercising, okay? First, you need to heal yourself, get active, reduce your stress. It's a trifecta, triangle. A triangle of strength. The strongest shape in the world is a triangle. Once you've started getting into those things and incorporating those aspects into your life, then you can start getting into advanced workouts, advanced stretches, doing all these crazy sprints. Until you've got the foundation set, there's no need to jump to level 20. Start at level one first, and then work your way up. I hope you found this video useful informative helpful if you did please hit the like button it helps me out and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one peace peace